Hi everyone, welcome back. So I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup in today's video and it's going to be to do with colour season analysis. So I recently before Christmas went and had my colours done at House of Colour and it revealed that I am an autumn and I've put up a couple of videos where I've kind of spoken about my process, my appointment with House of Colour, I've gone through my wardrobe as well to figure out whether most of my clothes are in my season or not and I've done a similar thing with my makeup. So I thought it would be interesting interesting to do a full face of makeup in my season and not in my season and I'm going to start with the makeup look that isn't in my season and I'm going to be taking a lot of the information from the booklet that you get given at your appointment so it tells you information about your how to use your colour wallet for your makeup and then it gives you some colour suggestions for lipstick, blusher, foundation and eyeshadow and then at the back it tells you what makeup suits your season and what shades you can buy from House of Colour. So obviously this is for autumns so I will be using this information for my full face of makeup that is in my season but for today's video I'm basically just going to be taking the opposite advice that they put in this booklet. So that means that the makeup look is going to be a very cool toned, probably lots of pinks and purples and in terms of the rest of <laughs> my styling today I've gone for this very cool toned, very blue based pink sweatshirt. This is probably better suited for maybe summers and then for jewellery I've gone for silver earrings. Silvers suit your cooler, your cooler seasons so your summers and your winters I am better suited to golds so I've gone for a cool tone top and some cool silver earrings and then I've just got a couple of pinky rings on so I've tried to make sure that everything that you can see in frame is as cool toned as possible so I suppose this makeup look is going to be suitable for your summers and your winters but this is just going to show the makeup that doesn't suit warm tones and doesn't suit autumns so I've already done my skincare, I have put some primer on, it is this little green one here which is the NYX Plump Right Back Primer. I'll zoom you in and we'll get started. So I like to colour correct my dark circles, so I'm just putting on a bit of the Bobbi Brown Stick Corrector in the shade Light Bisque and the Bisque shade is good for bluey purple dark circles which is what I've got. If your dark circles are more green or grey then a peach corrector would be better. Also my cheeks are quite pink today and I feel like when I wear the wrong colours it highlights it even more. So from the booklet then for foundation it says for autumns go for peach and beiges or ivory. Now I can't really take the opposite advice for this with regards to foundation because I'm just going to use the foundation that suits me and my skin tone. I don't really have warm tone foundations, neutral foundations, cool tone foundations, I've just got foundations that suit my skin tone and they are actually neutral shades of foundations, whenever I've been swatched in store I always get swatched to a neutral shade. So the one that I'm going to be using is the Yves Saint Laurent Touche Eclat foundation in the shade B20 and this is the foundation that's in my project pan this month. So for concealer, I'm trying to go for my most neutral shade of concealer. I've got the Too Faced Born This Way one, which is really quite yellow, so I'm not using that one. The one I'm actually using is a mini NARS one, Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Madeleine. And it is looking a little bit warm, but to be honest, I've only got three concealers, so we've got to make do with the ones that I do have. And whilst that sits for a bit, I'm just going to put some Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter through my brows. I'm going to need a bit more coverage just on that. And then a bit of NYX micro brow in the shade taupe through my brows. I've only got two brow pencils and they both suit my brows so I can't really go for an off colour for my brows. When it comes to doing the lips and the eyes and the, and the blush that's when we can then really get into the shades that aren't best suited for autumns. 
but for now we're just doing just the base. Okay, I'm going to do some cream blusher next and it does say in the booklet for blushes you're looking for peach, rust and tawny shades. So for blusher I am going to be using the two blushes that don't suit my season so I will link that video where I go through my, my makeup collection and discover whether my makeup is in my season or isn't and there was one cream blusher and one powder blusher that aren't in my season so I'm going to start off with the first one which is the Stila Jewel Convertible Lip and Cheek in the shade Lilium and I was a little bit kind of bummed about that because I really like this cream blusher I think it's really really pretty yes I've now realised that the shade isn't really for me but I really like the product I like how easy it is to use and I feel like cream products just add a bit of like juiciness to your skin and I've got to be really light handed with this as well it's really really pigmented now I get quite pink cheeks recently I have changed medication so I don't know whether it's because of that or whether I'm just my skin type is changing as I'm getting older it's getting more dehydrated more sensitive and I've kind of come to realize that this cheek color looks like my cheeks when they're naturally quite flushed just a bit of powder just to set my t-zone and underneath my eyes Now bronzer isn't mentioned in the booklet but I am just going to put a bit of my Project Pan bronzer which is Fenty Shady Biz. Just a little bit of that because I don't want to be really warmed up because this makeup look is going to be quite cool toned. I just want a little bit just to provide a bit of I suppose dimension and depth. back to blusher then and we're going to use the powder one and this was the other blusher i mentioned that's not in my season and it's by vive and it's the shade sorbet so this is i suppose like a coral but it's not a very warm coral it's more of a cool toned coral like there's too much pink in this to suit my complexion if this had more orange in it i could probably get away with this one but this is quite cool toned and this is the blusher that's in my project pan at the moment and I have been wearing it quite a bit I've been wearing it with different types of makeup to see if I can make it work for my skin tone and my coloring and I don't think I can so I think this is probably going to be a blusher that's gonna be decluttered and passed on to someone else so highlighter next and this one isn't mentioned in the booklet but I am going to go for a cool toned highlighter I'm going to use the rare beauty mini one in the shade mesmerize which is a cool toned icy pink. Now this is in my project pan because I don't have a lot of this left. So I think I can probably pan it. I feel like my blusher is making me look like I've got a bit of a hot flush going on. Right, let's move on to the eyes next. I'm just gonna use some of my NYX eyeshadow base as an eyeshadow primer, and then I'll set this with a matte ivory eyeshadow. So in the booklet it gives you some shade examples of eyeshadows to go for and then it says what to avoid and for an autumn it says avoid cold blue and grey shades. So I'm going to try to kind of go for some cool toned possibly purples because I don't really own any blue eyeshadows or grey shades. And when I went through my makeup collection I identified some eyeshadow palettes that aren't in my season which are the Muse palettes, so cool toned pinks and purples, but I felt like this wasn't as obviously cool toned as ABH Norvina. There are much more obvious cool toned shades in here, like Soul, that one is very cool toned, and then also half of Modern Renaissance is cool toned as well. So not these ones up here, but more some of the, the pinky purples, reds down here. So I'm gonna probably try and use 
some shades out of all of these palettes and see what kind of look I can create. This eyeshadow stick from Kiko was also identified in that video as a shade that doesn't suit me. So I'm going to put a bit of this down as like a base and then smudge it out. But you can see that it is that very cool toned purple grey. And then when I wear shades like this on my eyes, I feel like it really highlights my dark circles, regardless of the fact that I have tried to colour correct them. A really lovely shadow stick to use though. I would be interested in having more of these, but obviously just not in cool tones like this. So it blends out really easily. And I just want a little bit of this as a base, because I want to put some other colours on top. Okay, I'm going to go for some of Bonfresco from ABH Modern Renaissance. Just put some of that in my crease. I was going to go for like a pinky purple look, but I think I'm going to try to stay in like the, the cold greys, blues. So the shades that were recommended to not go for in my booklet. I do want to use some of Soul from Norvina because that is that cool tone blue. Looks like it's got some purple behind it as well. Not really sure how this look is going to come together. We'll see. So we are looking a little bit bruised at the moment. I do want to put some of Volatile in here as well so I'm going to take some of that on a fluffy brush and just sort of like run that a little bit in the crease around the edges a bit just to add to that purple. I think I want a little bit of shimmer in the inner part of my eye so I'm going to go for Wild Child from Norvina. So this is a cool toned baby pink. I'm going to try a bit of that with my finger because the shimmers in Norvina apply a lot better with your finger than they do with a brush. Put a little bit of that in my inner corner as well. I'm going to run a little bit of antique bronze from Modern Renaissance just under my lash line. And then on a clean fluffy brush, I'm going to use a little bit of peony, this cool toned baby pink, very light pink, just around the edges just to kind of neaten it up a little bit. And then a bit of divine just under the brow bone. And divine is a sparkly cool toned pink. Now for eyeliner, I'm going to use black and brown eyeliner and brown mascara are recommended for autumns. So I'm going to do the opposite of that. I'm going to use a black. Now I don't have a black liquid or pencil eyeliner, so I'm going to be using the shade Goodnight from the Viva Centrals palette. And black is just a little bit too harsh and contrasting on autumns and springs. And then I'll use a black mascara. This is the MAC Mini Stack. This is actually the first time I'm using this. I've got a mini of this as a sample. And because it's a black mascara, it's just been sat on my dressing table not being used because I use a brown one. So this is a good opportunity to get this out and have a go. Nice, that's a nice mascara. I like that. I like how that's made my lashes look. Very weird to be wearing black mascara though because I don't wear black mascara like ever anymore okay last thing is gonna be lips and in the booklet it says for autumns go for orange reds brick reds tomato reds rust chestnut and amber and then it says peach and apricot may be a little pale on you and i suppose peach and apricot are better suited for springs so i think what i'm gonna do for lips is basically do the same sort of thing as i did for my eyes like a cool toned pink and when I went through my makeup, I did identify some lip colours, so some lip liners and lipsticks that aren't in my season. So I've got a couple of lip liners here. One is from Vive and it's Stupid Cupid. The other one is Nude Pink from NYX and they are both cool toned pinks. 
too light for me and obviously cool toned not the right kind of pink that I should be wearing and then for lipstick I've got Cherub's Kiss from Vive again a cool toned pink lipstick now I don't like the formula of Vive lipsticks I find them very drying quite heavy and they're a matte formulation as well so that's really why they feel a bit drying so I'm gonna put on a little bit of some clear lip gloss first And I'll start off with the Vive Lip Liner, so this is Stupid Cupid and this is just a bit darker than the NYX one. And this is the NYX Lip Liner in Nude Pink. Followed by the Vive Lipstick in Cherub's Kiss. And there we go, so this is my full face of makeup that isn't in my season. So the aim of this video wasn't to be like, this is the makeup that you shouldn't wear. And I didn't want to do a bad face of makeup as well. I wanted to do a face of makeup that I, I would still wear. But just to show that these colours aren't the best colours for me. Now it's not like the makeup looks absolutely horrendous. Well hopefully you're not thinking that. It, it doesn't look horrendous or, or awful. But I feel like it's a lot of makeup. And I feel like it's just sitting. It's not, you know, harmonising particularly well with my eyes. I feel like my eyes aren't kind of coming forwards in this makeup I feel like my dark circles are a bit more pronounced and it's not harmonizing well with my hair so the purpose of color analysis isn't to say don't wear this don't wear that color do wear this color it's saying that these colors possibly aren't the best kind of colors for you they're not the ones that are going to make you know your face sing and these colors are colors that are more suited to you and they're going to work more in harmony with you and so obviously I've gone for a very cool toned look today. So cool toned pinks, purples, bit of grey blueiness in there as well. So like I said, I don't think it's a bad face of makeup, but it's not the most complimentary on my skin tone. And I will be filming a full face of makeup in my colour season. And hopefully if you've seen this one and that one, which will be coming out next, I think, you'll be able to sort of see the difference and hopefully agree with me in that the colours that I'll wear in that video are better suited to me than these ones. So I hope you found this video interesting. If you yourself are a cool season, then hopefully it's given you maybe a little bit of inspiration. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you would subscribe as well. Thanks again, guys, and have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you very soon for my next one. Bye.